Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, look at your roots. And in fact, we, we were having a discussion off camera. We said that they were complex roots, and I lied. They're not complex roots because there's no I. They're not complex. But they certainly are not are they're hard. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna call them hard roots. Did they come from factoring? Is my question. No. No. They didn't come from factoring. How did we find them? Bingo. So if we know that, we're going to use that. We're going to work backwards, not through factoring. We're going to work backwards through bingo. So these came from the quadratic formula. They did not come from factoring. Do you understand that the first two examples, we worked backwards through factoring? Does that make sense? Okay, so we can't do that now. Now, Marie, you had a good question. You said this wasn't two separate roots. Actually, it is. There's two roots here. The first one is 5 plus root 13 over 6. The other root is 5 minus root 13 over 6. And we have to be clear on that. My grade 12s had a hard time with that today. There's actually two things there. Okay, so if we're going to work backwards, through the method that we got these answers, which is the quadratic formula, what we're going to do is I'm going to compare this with this. With the end goal being, where's my keys? I need another color. Here we go. With the end goal being that we want to figure out A, B, and C. And why do I want A, B, and C? Because A, B, and C will give me the family of curves. So maybe what I should be doing here is letting you know we're trying to get the family here. So in fact, what I'm going to try to do is get y equals d ax squared plus bx plus c. So if I can find out the value of a, b, and c that went into these roots, then I have the family of curves if I put a d on the outside. So the real question is, what's the values of A, B, and C? So, who wants to go first? A equals 3. A equals 3. How'd you get it? Uh, because the bottom is 2A, so 6 divided by 3 is 3. Huh. I think he might be onto something there. What do you guys think? Yeah. He said that this... And this are in the same spot, so they better be equal. I can live with that. Okay, next. Huh, really? I guess because you're kind of saying that negative b and 5 are in the same spot, so they should be equal to each other. Okay. C. Follow the pattern. Ah, so tell me what you just saw. Don't, don't give me a final answer. Don't tell me what C is. Tell me what you just saw, Abba. Um, it's like... <laughs> tell us, Abba. Yeah. Okay, B is... Okay, now I'm on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry. To get C. Negative 4 times A. Or no, sorry. 
divided by? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. I saw it a little Did you see? I know you saw it. I will. I know Abba saw it. She just doesn't see it now. I broke the light. Okay, we broke the light. We'll fix that later. I will help you, Abba. And because we know what B is, And because we know what A is, one, negative 12. Thirteen minus twenty-five, I think, is negative twelve. So that means that my family of curves is y equals d three x squared minus five x plus one. That's my family. Do they give me a specific point? Yeah. Passing through 2 comma 15. So this is my y, this is my x. So to get d, I'm going to get 15 equals d, 3, 2 squared, minus 5 times 2, plus 1. Fifteen equals D, that's four, that's twelve, minus ten is two, plus one is three. D equals five. So we take that now and we plug that back into my family and I get Y equals five, three X squared minus five X plus one and 15x squared minus 25x plus 5 would be your final answer. And again, I have no problem with the answer above it either. So I'm going to pause here and talk to the class, and I'll be back.